What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're going to be working on the SI, basically giving it the TLC that it needs. I've been neglecting it and it's been ruining my life. But yeah, um, we have the car right here. All nice and pretty. We got it all aired up. And what I actually did was uh, I aired out the tank or I took out the air from the tank because we do have our second compressor. I want to fix that. I also want to fix the front airline right here because it is hitting the frame. And every time I air out, it basically makes a clunk noise. So I want to fix that right away so it doesn't mess up anything. And in the rear too, man, I already messed up my rear wheel. Like, ugh. as you can see, right there, right there. Uh, where's the bad one? Right here. Because whenever I air out, it goes over and I haven't shaved this yet. So it's literally like destroying my paint on my wheels but it's okay we have touch up paint for this to get today started today i'm just going to be working on the si getting everything all buttoned up because i do want to still apply for a week fest if it is still available but uh, yeah um we're gonna basically fix the bag that side today so let's get started also i want to just give a big shout out to jtt performance i'm not sponsored by them but i do get all my parts from them from jtt performance out in tampa florida um i do have the Muteki blue lug nuts but as you could tell right here uh, over time they do strip so hopefully these black ones don't strip and I think it'll look really nice on the white wheel because it will take out all the attention from the blue because I really don't like the blue because it doesn't match my theme I'm gonna go with the black lug nuts and then later down the road I will get red center cap so I think it'll look really nice so yeah Muteki these are steel by the way they're not aluminum and I like these a lot more than the aluminum ones because they are a lot stronger they're pretty light and they're pretty durable too so i've always had good luck with these so if you guys want a pair make sure you hit up dominic from jtc performance hit up their ig right here as well as their facebook and let them know How big this boy is yay guys now going under the car I don't know if you can see this but the front sway bar this is the front line that goes to the front bag right here and then uh, what we just was just zip tied it to this hard lot this hard brake line what I need to do is basically move this in here because every time I do air out it goes it, it like start from right here and then it goes like that and it clunks every single time I don't know if you can see this but yeah uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this and we're gonna push it through here. Hopefully I have enough lines to go through Because it's looking like it's a little short Hopefully we can get that fixed because I really don't want to mess with don't want to get this line messed up If anything we'll have it so that it's like lined up right here instead of going right here all the time So it doesn't mess with like the front uh, sway bar uh, Let's see what we can do. Right, hopefully this works. So what I did was I mounted it up right here to this, uh, these two holes on the frame. And then I pushed it out more instead of the hard line right here, I put it to this one right here. And then so it's push, pulling it more this way. So it's gonna be out of the way of the sway bar. So hopefully that fixes it because it's not really that much play or yeah, it's more up there. It's not gonna do too much. Hopefully that fixes it though. At this point we might as well open the new lug nuts. Man, the feeling of opening a new pair of set of lug nuts feels good. See right here? See how they're like flaking with the metal, that like blue metal chrome plate? Had these for a long time. So finally happy that I got a new set of lug nuts. Yeah, dude, these look so much better than the blue because look at this. The black really matches the black on the uh, valve stem, so yeah. Next up is going to be that uh, red working motion center cap to like really finish off the wheel. But yeah, slow it down, torque down the wheels, raise up the backs, and let's get this thing going. Also, another thing, Bag Riders did send me my second compressor. Never had time to open it or install it. So we might as well install it today too because I'm trying to get everything done today for the SI. So, oh, one compressor. Already, yep, this one's not broken because it was the first time they saw that thing happen and 
yeah, so thank you, Bag Riders. Thank you, Keith from Bag Riders, for helping me out on getting my second compressor in. Uh, so right here is where it broke last time from the packaging, but now um, it's secure, so we're good to go, and we're gonna install it so we can finish that chunk setup right there. During last week, I had a huge air leak. I don't know if you guys noticed in the last video, but this line blew. It blew again and I was in Richmond so I couldn't really do anything. So I had to think quick and what I did was I just plugged up the bottom one with the plug that was on here while waiting for my second compressor. And I put a quick release with a uh, um, PSI gauge on here, you know, the boost gauge life. And so I could just go like that. Um, we're gonna be taking this off because we don't really don't need it. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to um, having this drain port again because I would like to have a drain port but actually with like stronger lines if not we could just leave this here for now and then every time we need to uh, drain out the tank I'll just like let it drain itself but I'm gonna try to see if we could find another line that we could fit onto it so that we can use the drain port so that we can actually have a drain port so yeah let's because because this one that we use right here is a soft line and it does not hold the pressure of 180 psi so we're gonna find another line that fits and works that is a, a one fourth line i believe so let's go find another line in my box so i just got started removed the wood and as you guys can tell uh if you guys keep asking me it's literally like this it lines up like that and you can take it apart like that i just have it on top of my carpet remove the carpet excuse all the mess uh, what I did is I removed the compressor already. I'm going to wire up the second compressor so that I can have it all ready. And then uh, we'll be good to go on having the dual compressor. I might switch up on how I want the um, management to be bolted up, but we'll see. I just want to get this second compressor in first, and there's a tank. And then we'll see where this takes us. So I'm going to start working on it. Just a little follow up on my mess of wiring. Uh, I did connect the red and the red black and black it's already all the way up to the battery up front um, what we gotta do now is we're just gonna mount up the uh, compressors see if both of them turn on and if it does we're good all right guys so we probably we actually got the second compressor to run as you can see it's running right now what I'm just doing is calibrating the system so that I could recalibrate it again after I do mess with the rear settings but yeah right now it's just calibrating the front and now it's calibrating the rears the fronts are at zero the rears it's recalibrating so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna finally fix this as you guys can see this has been raised for the longest time and like you could heck of see it whenever like i'm just parked and these are actually the clips that i bought from uh yeah, what's it called? but these are the clips that go inside i bought like 25 of them because i hate losing them so they're like this and yeah i'm gonna put it all over the cowl because like look at that Ugh. i just want to like have this like sitting because i hate it man so i'll get this done and then after that we'll be good to go all right guys sorry i actually put the camera down because i really wanted to get stuff done but we got everything all squared away that middle part's still like wavy but it's whatever i think it's because i've been pulling it up and down so many times uh, in terms of this everything is like pretty much secure with the new um clips now we have my new my double compressor right here have some light for you guys like there you go that's where the dual compressor is now so i mounted it all on the side like that i still have the management in the back and i'm still going to be working on making this look 10 times cleaner but yeah i think it looks dope now that um i have the dual compressor so it doesn't look like one's missing so yee that's done and then in the rear, I left it alone. I didn't want to raise and lower the shock just yet because uh, what I'll do is I'll grind down the the inner liner right here or the inner uh, rear quarter panel just so that I can have uh, more clearance on the from the wheel. And if anything, I'll just, just a tad bit more camber, just a little bit. Today is the new day. Uh, we are actually going to be selling the Volks today because I did post them up for sale and they're going to somebody who's gonna take good care of them and who are gonna appreciate them for what they are i put them for a good price 1500 bucks for a set of volk ce 28ns like that's pretty good considering they're like 800 a pop so he took the opportunity um 
So we're gonna go put the wheels in the car and then we're gonna meet up with the guy. Then I'm gonna go to the gym. Okay, so I am having an issue with the rear left bag. I feel like I have a leak somewhere because um, this was at like 20 PSI and of course it's gonna ruin my wheel again. And yeah, it's gonna ruin my wheel again once I air up or already because it already aired down. But it always goes to like zero after like I leave it a while for a couple of hours. This one is fine, so something's going on with the rear left bag oh here's what it is let me just air up real quick cold start for you guys If you guys didn't know, uh, with these Volks, uh, they're really great for the track because they are super light for an 18 by nine. Each of them hold a weight of 16.6 pounds without a tire. So you can take that into consideration when you're choosing like what wheel you want for the track or if you want something for performance. Just like that guys, we got the cash. Wheels are sold, as you can see. Goodbye Volks. One step closer to getting rid of all the wheels that I bought. Next up for sale is going to be the Work VSSS's. They are going to be for sale for $1,200. Um, literally selling them for what I got for. So yeah, I'm just trying to help you guys out. I don't need them. And they are 18 by 8 plus 38 offset. Two inch lips in the front. Or on the, on the lip, obviously. And then six inch barrel in the back. So figure out your fitment. If you guys want them, they could use a full rebuild um, or refinish. The chrome, the lips are okay but the faces do need to be uh, refinished in the rear. Actually, you know what, we're not done. Uh, we're actually gonna go to a photo shoot so I could take my um, application photos for Weekfest. I am applying for the Weekfest show in July out in uh, San Jose. So yeah, we're gonna go to some spots or just one spot to take some photos so I could apply for the, uh, the show. I'm gonna show you guys how my thought process in um, placing my car, making sure it looks good and uh, how I edit and all that stuff too because uh, that goes into the whole process of shooting pictures for my Instagram. Um, usually most of my pictures are actually from my phone, um, but I do like to bring out the camera once in a while because uh, it, if it's for like a special occasion, I like doing it. So, Alright guys, so when I find uh, dope spots, I try to find something that's more isolated. I don't like to shoot anywhere that's around like houses, but there is a dope spot here out in Richmond that is in a neighborhood, but the backdrop is more like just a fence. Um, I'm waiting for this dude to get out of here because like he's just smoking that dank right now And yeah, I think it'd be really awkward if he was like in the background It'd be pretty funny if like I shot a, a photo and then he was in the background smoking But yeah, I'd rather just like, you know, keep it centered around my car Uh, yeah, I'm just waiting for the dude to like get out of there because he's just straight chilling and I need the spot Okay, I don't know if you guys can see him, but he's like way over there I'll try to zoom in as much as possible, but yeah, I'm just waiting um, after this, I hope to get some dope shots and I'll show you guys how I set my car up. We're out here, uh, we're in a neighborhood. And as you can see, I got the car prepped up right here. So I'm gonna say taking a few photos. I like to take it at this angle because it actually shows like everything. So the front headlights, to the wheels, just the stance of the car. I think it looks pretty sick. So I'm gonna take a few photos and then I'll show you guys the edited versions of them. Alright guys, and after I do uh, photos, I like to do cinematic shots, so here's the cinematic shots that I'm going to do for you guys.
All right, guys, I'm gonna end it right here. I uh, hope you guys liked that video. Um, it's cool to show you guys my process in terms of editing or how I uh, get my shots from my Instagram. Most of my photos are actually from my phone um, on Instagram just because I have it with me all the time and not my camera. But um, yeah, hope you guys like that. Uh, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, hit that like button if you guys like this video. Make sure you guys give a big thumbs up. And until next time, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.